What's up guys, as always, I'm your host ONR and today we're going to be doing a little rod and reel review. Let's get to it. Alright guys, so before we get started on the video, I'm just going to say that all the links to the products I'm going to be showing you are going to be in the description below. So if you guys want to check them out or buy them, you guys can just go there. Alright guys, so I'm going to start off by telling you a little bit about what I think on the Field & Stream Tech Spec Black. So right now I have the Field & Stream Tech Spec Black. This is a 6 foot 6 inch rod and um, basically it's a medium fast action. This reel is called the Shishimo. I'll give you some better shots on the setup a little bit later but basically the Shishimo is not an expensive reel at all. It retails for $39.99 plus $10 shipping. So really I got this thing for 50 bucks altogether and it's actually a pretty good reel for the price point. So I would highly recommend it. Um, I've been doing a lot of fishing with it. I haven't got too much backlash with this reel. If you have it set up correctly it casts very well and you will have no problems with backlash. The rod itself I really like the action on it and um, it has this thing called strike detect technology and basically you could feel every little thing that you hit if you're running like a jig on rocks on the bottom you could really feel everything the reel itself pairs up nicely with this rod I have this reel in a 7 to 1 gear ratio 17 plus 1 bearings on this reel and personally I think it's very good for the money it's called a Shishimo don't be mistaken for it being Shimano really it's Shishimo but you know the only problem with this reel is I mean I'm sure that it's not going to hold up like a good quality reel by any means but one thing I don't like about this reel guys is the thumb button it's not very crisp like some of my other reels like the Shimano Casitas or a Luz Speed Spool by any means but for the money you get what you pay for and I like it it is all carbon fiber which Personally, I don't believe is real carbon fiber. If you check out the Field and Stream rod, which is real carbon fiber, and compare it to this, it isn't real. You're not paying much for it. So it does have a really nice five-star drag. I've had no problems with the drag. It does look really cool. I really like the look of this reel, and it feels really nice. It feels nice in your hand, and fits really nice. It's pretty low profile. The reel itself is really smooth. It's definitely for the money. I would definitely recommend this reel. It spools up perfectly even and it's a really nice rod and reel combo. So for 60 bucks you can get this rod and I really like this rod. It's called Field and Stream Tech Spec Black. It's carbon fiber and it's black with some red accents. And I really do like this rod. I like the cork handle. It looks really nice and sleek. And I feel like whenever I pair it up with this carbon reel, the rod and reel combine really nice and look very good. So Altogether, this combo would only be $110, which is a really, really good reel. And if you're getting into a baitcaster and you want to try using a baitcaster, I feel like this is a really good combo. The rod, it's very sensitive and it casts very nice. You guys would really like it. I couldn't find any other reel reviews for the Shishimo, and I know it gets viewed a lot. I think that there needed to be a real review on it so if you guys want to check it out this is the Shishimo carbon fiber baitcaster and guys this thing only weighs 7.1 ounces alright guys so whenever you first buy the reel it actually comes in very nice packaging whenever you get it and surprisingly whenever you unbox it it comes with the reel itself which I have right here and it comes with a really nice reel case and um, this is pretty nice if you want to transport your reel, not on your rod. And it basically comes with a manual and this nice packaging. So, this reel can hold 115 yards of 12 pound test. So, it does fit pretty good amount of line on it. For the price point, I think it's at a good price. I don't think it's you should pay more for it just because, you know, it is basically a knockoff. But... Overall, I think for the money you pay, this setup overall with the Field & Stream Tech Spec Black and the Shishimo reel 
I think that this is a really nice bay casting setup on a nice price point. Overall, it's very durable. It's a nice combo, and it will definitely fit your budget. Unfortunately, it starts snowing again, and I'm not going to be able to do any fishing until the ice clears off the water and the weather gets a little bit better. So I'm kind of at a weird point where the videos, I don't really have anything to post. So let me know what you guys think I should do, and let me know if you guys enjoyed this type of video. So guys, I'm going to have a couple more reel and rod reviews. Next video, I'm going to have Loose Tournament Speed Bowl LFS MB. I'm going to have Shimano Casita, Shimano Kanan. And I'm going to have a couple rods, a couple St. Croix, Omens. And let me know if you guys think of the video, if you liked it, what I should do next. And drop a comment. Please like, please subscribe, and stay tuned for another video. Hope you enjoyed. As always, ONR. Boom. Oh, man. Oh, uh, I can't punch the screen, so I'm just going to have to, like,